Hello, hello, everyone. Or rather, just Ben. That's all I see in chat right now. <laughs> I'm here, ready to play more Hogwarts. Social, social medias are done and posted, so... Ah... Uh, seven minutes. I guess I could get to playing. I mean... I did see the notification for your message, but I was in the middle of typing the Facebook post, so. Um, I guess I've got time. Before I get started, I can check it right now. You'll like this, Ben. My, um, both my dad and my sister they're, they're track starters, so they're the ones that go on your marks, get set, and they hold the gun up and shoot it. Today was my sister's first track meet doing that job, but um, yeah, she ran track in high school and in college, as did he. It's a big part of his household and family history, so I don't know why I, I never told you that before, <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Oh, the 4x4, that's a fun one to watch. I loved watching my sister run track. I personally do not like running around a track, but I always loved watching her and being her cheerleader. She was uh, distance, so she did the mile and the two mile in high school. was hopefully more peoples will show up check my sound whoa oh I forgot I was in my room of requirement because I did a little bit <laughs> whoops <laughs> Not a whole lot, but I did a little bit. I'm gonna get out of here though. Are we? Oh, you know what? you Ben. Yeah, I changed the floor, I think, added, like, changed a couple different things around. Okay. Definitely, the first thing I want to do is the caretakers. I want to talk to the caretaker because I want to get Alohomora. What are you up to now? Oh, peeves. Ooh, I haven't unlocked that yet. In 
I'm gonna wait to do these arithmetic things until uh, I'm a higher level. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. I've seen what happens. It's really cool. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around. <gasps> oh, it's the staircase. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Mm, I don't want to get in trouble. The faculty tower? I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh! You needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what a about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom. and the Oh, other I was hoping to go in the prefect's bathroom. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. <sighs> Here we go.
love her more. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to. Nah. Oh. Oh. What? 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 Are you freaking kidding me? It's a puzzle. Okay, use the sticks to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated. Oh my god. Okay. That wasn't well done, so bad. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area. I am in receipt of your most recent app. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding introduction of a not so recent student penalty in Quidditch, which <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh, cool. How would tell us I'll do an exception to keep the castle in order? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You're still not so brilliant. 
Still nobody else in chat. Oh wow, they're missing out. Hey, raised. I'm in the professor's tower. Staff tower. Revelia. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Amora. Big This is way better than lock picking. Clearly not the right way to go. <laughs> Letter from Serona. I always wondered where the teacher slept. Sorry, professors. Oh yeah, I went in here, but that's a level two lock. I can't open that door yet.
level three. Oof. Oh, I kind of remember this in Lego Harry Potter going up the spiral staircases to get to the prefix bathroom. I just don't know where I'm supposed to hide in the in the water. You don't know how badly I want to hit these buttons, but I don't want to get caught right now. Oh, it's... Wait a minute. Is that the... <gasps> it's the mermaid. Oh, crap. There's a... I'm going to have to come back here later. That did not get their attention. <laughs> hey, Miss Phantom. All right, I guess I'll deal with that later. Forest of Bewildered. I don't know how I'm supposed to sneak back this... Sneak past this... Oh, can I go up behind them and do Pacificus Totalis? Nope. I guess that would be forbidden to do it on classmates. Not at the 
I'd know. Send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best. <gasps> oh. The students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Ah. Uh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. <laughs> Was it like the fourth time I've been caught? Wow. Jesus. At least I know how to get past him. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. The students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? Well, Raven Cruel. I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rule. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. How's that? Well, all of the teamwork and the flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention at your next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. I don't know how I'm supposed to get past them. Keep going, teachers, keep going. Oh, Jesus. Off on another adventure. 
Where are we? Oh, thank goodness that student's there. Is going up. I'm not going up after it right now. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more... Wow, you got to level three and there are more. Who's behind all this? Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxney, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful oh, forms of, course, of, of course. Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. <gasps> Kitty! Gotta pet the kitter. I love that sound. The sound of a cat purring, it is. <sighs> Nothing like it. Well, now what should I do? <clears throat> Actually, I've got some gear to, uh... That would have been an awesome trophy. Oh, do not tell me I lost out on that gear because I died.
Oof, I can't destroy those legendary ones. I have to sell them. I'll destroy this one. Oh, why do I have so many hats? Sell them all. I'll stop destroying. I was just making room. Hello. That's the first trait that I've seen. Wowza. Which means I'm gonna have to make a trip to uh, Hogsmeade. <laughs> hood? No hood. I, I prefer not to have a hood. Ooh, I have more talent points. I... Oh. I don't wanna, I don't know. Ooh, successful. Yes. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Ooh, I, I want that. I haven't looked through all of these. Revealio Mastery increases the range, huh? Oh, and there's my fourth spell set. Yeah, I definitely need that, huh? I don't want to spend all my talents right now.
because there's no way to unspend them. I'm hoping they add that in a future update. Holy assignments, wowza. I don't think I've learned to pull so yet. Um, troll bogeys. Uh, wait, have I learned to pull so? I don't even remember. <laughs> hey, Judy. <clears throat> Let me check my spell list. Did I learn to pull some? Defendo, Bombarda, Flipendo. Oh, I think I did. I think I did learn to pull though. Now that I think about it, it's right here. Okay, uh, <clears throat> back to my quest list. <clears throat> I'll have to check the potion shop to see if it has a thunder brew. I guess I could do the flight test. Let's do the flight test. Ooh, summoner's court. The function I talked about hey, you, for most huh. Whoa. How I'm supposed to pop those. Imelda Rays, I'll be weeks at me. 
Oh, Did he now? <coughs> fly Still through them. Okay. With his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh boy. Oh my god. Brilliant. <sighs> the <sighs> Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be her course. I, I gotta get used to the controls for flying again. Brilliant. Made it. is epic. It's like it's straight up out of the movie. Oh, success. Nope, not beating her time. Not bad though. Oh, two thirty-six. Ah. <laughs> do I have to do it again? Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? <sighs> One more time. Are?
You were right about me getting the hang of it, Miss Phantom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my 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 right trigger finger. <sighs> Wait, there's a trophy. Oh. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. You're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. <laughs> Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. I think I might wait until I've upgraded or I've gotten some upgrades for my room. Return to the podium to challenge the other racers and advance your way through the ranks of the. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. third place I bet I could do faster uh, once I have some broom upgrades I never thought someone would ever best in Elvis time she's been the top racer for too long I never thought someone would... Woo! first time I've done that what does that get me? Nothing? Although I was supposed to pop balloons for a professor's assignment. You know who would love doing that is Fred and George Weasley. <laughs> wow, the Quidditch pitch. <coughs> It just sucks there's no rings for Quidditch out here right now.
I'm gonna look for a couple more balloons to pop. While I head to Hogsmeade. I can't wait to be able to fly a hippogriff. So yeah, left stick, you move side to side. Right stick, you move up and down. And left to right camera. Took me two tries to get used to that again. I don't see any balloons. I'm going to have to land right over here because Hogsmeade is a no-fly zone. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, I can use Alohomora on some of the doors here. Not that one, obviously. With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. I didn't notice a drift. <laughs> Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. Mm, so I read something really cool that I did not remember from the book. with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. Book seven. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'll tell you after. Okay. Um, I've only read uh, the book once. I mean, I played through the Lego game. But, um, so you know how in the Deathly Hollows, um, Snape's Patronus leads them to Godric Gryffindor's sword? Snape knows where to put the sword because... Hermione took a portrait of Professor Black, forgot uh, the Headmaster Black, and she had it in her bag. And that portrait overheard her saying where they were when they were in that forest. And because the portraits can go from, you know, portrait to portrait. Um, it was portrait of black that told Snape what to do. Where they were thinking Snape would tell Voldemort, but because he didn't know. I just read that in an article on Facebook the other day, and I went, oh, that's cool. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed.
Ooh, level 17. What are we looking for today? Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Nice doing business with you. So yeah, this is everything that I'm obviously not wearing. Holy cow. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. And what's cool is the upgrade goes for any broom, but I don't see. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more <laughs> difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it cool. may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the <laughs> idea of racing against through it all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of that quest marker. I ain't doing it right now. to the races then. Oh, it's... <laughs> <sighs> A demi, guys? Uh oh, it's right there.
mind now, demigods. <laughs> and now I'll change it back to daytime. <laughs> so silly but whatever works yeah it's, at least the level one puzzle is not so hard oh another kitty kitty hi kitty kitty <laughs> It reminds me of the lock picking from Sky Skyrim a little bit, in that you have to find the sweet spot. But at least you don't have to worry about anything breaking here. Oh, that's all that that's all that was in here? Rebellion. Just a wig and weld potion. Alright. Mm -hmm. This is kind of fun. And a big chest. Rebellion. Oh. I guess I gotta make it nighttime again. Mind now, Demi guys. Where's the door?
Nope, I don't want to go that way. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What was that? Oh, an orange kitty. I gotta pet the kitty. I'm trying to remember where the potion shop is without having to pull up the map. Ha! I found it. Success. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Ben, this game takes place in 1890, a hundred years before Harry Potter is born. Remember, the Shrieking Shack was built for Remus Lupin to change into a werewolf, so it, it has not been built yet. What Actually, can I do for you today? the time that this game takes place, Dumbledore should be in his seventh year at Hogwarts. I keep hoping to come across, you know, an Albi. Okay, so what was the potion that I needed to buy? I think I needed to buy a Thunder Brew. A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunderbrew potion against enemies. Okay, so I've got the thunderbrew. Okay. I better buy an invisibility. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope Gosh. to see you again. Farewell for now. It's almost cheaper to brew your own. I guess I could go to the three broomsticks. go you know what there is another place that I need to go to first where's the plant person magic meep and I'm right near it so Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. Let me guess. 
You're after something fresh. I'm not going to get what I need from him. No one can say I don't keep a stock shelf. Why do I feel like... Okay, hold on. I was going to say, I felt like the captions got smaller, but I guess it's just me. Text size... Use your wireless control. Yeah, I'm glad that's off. No, 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 no. That's an interesting robe. All right. Pop balloon so I can fly over Hogsmeade Station. Okay. Hello there, nice to see you. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever <gasps> I come near, they fly off into it. Oh, when the I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden oh, from entering the forest. This is a nod at Told that line. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? <laughs> I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. 
Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. <laughs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some <laughs> sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Exploring. <sighs> it 
it's nice that you can like <clears throat> make it nighttime, grab the dummy guys, and then make it daytime again. All right, shall I go find our goblin friend and talk to him? Another kitty. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. Are you too, Amit? Welcome to the Ogs Head. Any empty seat is yours. Revenia. What do we have here? A demi guys. Another one? Now, demi guys. Twenty two, Wowza. <laughs> Serona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okie dokie. If something threatens me, first thing I can Oh, it's nice and close. Okay. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? 
A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with that goblin idea. Just having a nice stroll. No need to run. Oh no. Those are those red caps. I hate that her robe always looks dirty. And there it is, the witch's tomb. Ugh, oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I sense, <clears throat> I sense a puzzle. How nice to see you. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else, a symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Mm -hmm. After this, I'll check and see how many demi demi things I have. I suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light force. Oh, I fought the most theory effectively before. fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here 
eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Lumos. Beard. They like to say that Mullen's beard. Um. Ooh, unidentified hand item. I'll have to use that in the room of requirement. Okay, that looks like it's gonna go long. I guess there was no point in destroying that stuff. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Quite a deal further. I think I need to pull so. I'm not alone here.
Oops. Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that I upgraded my um incendio. Light gold. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I double back. Hey, 
escape room upgrades. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the other stuff right now. Did not expect to land in water. Hmm, ah, which way do I go? It may not matter. Looks like both ways. Wait a minute, what? How did I... How did I end up back? Okay, that was weird. Oh, it's another one of those things. Whew, that's quite the fight. even more complex. Oh, I guess I should be standing here, huh? Ha. Ha. 
What in the world? Oh, I've got to hit it twice. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Ah, damn it. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, there's a... How am I supposed to lock it into place? Lumos. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of at a loss. Anybody? I see what to do. I know what to do. I just have to be super, super fast. Lumos. 
Dang it, it didn't work. <laughs> I got it. That was tr definitely trickier. The witch's final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. To show this to Lodgok. Revenia. Hmm, I know there's a mechanism to open this door. The sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good, there's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Ooh, it's a little faster for sure. Troll did me a favor. Ew, troll bogeys. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? Revenue. 
Jordania. That's not... Where is the damn thing? Oh, I was hoping to put the fish back in the water. That's it. This is for Rookwood. What's that? I should warn you. I won't make it. My colleagues have made. You're no match for me. Rise and fight. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? I'm about to wish you had a. I've seen your magic, and I'm not a fool. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Woohoo, okay. Oh, I need to levitate an enemy and then use to pull so. All right. Conjuration spellcraft. There's also a trophy for following the butterflies. I kind of want to do that. I'm just checking my assignment progress.
As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, I hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Ooh. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Lumos. This far, Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. I tell you this Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Uh oh, where did the butterflies go? I and Elf not harm. I found the butterflies and then came across enemies and I don't know where the butterflies went. But I saw them. Oh, there's some Merlin trials too. Am I not supposed to be invisible? There they are. Oh, wow. <gasps> what do we have here? I followed the butterflies to a treasure. 
and I did not even see what I got. I backed up my stream. Ooh, a statue. <sighs> I don't want to go towards the spiders. than Hogsmeade. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Wellesley. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Woohoo, love what? Hello, Serena. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you were needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprattle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Hmm. Oops. <clears throat> I 
Huh, I want to see how many of those things I have collected. Oh, I have five. statue. So that's how you add traits. Oh, all right, gear. Oh, yeah. No. be doing this all night. I missed a gear item. What the oh hat? How cute. Look at all of these, oh my goodness. I don't know where I'm going to inquire venomous tentacula and mandrake to use. <gasps> 
Yes, please. To see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can, on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. I just call it the Mary Poppins bag. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Let's go now. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. Uh... I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready.
Ooh, balloon. Oh, I missed. I just need one more. <laughs> Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive mm. beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Now, I'm only trying to help. Lumos. Nah. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Finally. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Greg showed me this part in the re requirement. He hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there.
on another adventure, are we? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Freeze it, little buggers. I don't have glaciers yet. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon path then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Do cooperate, won't you? Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Oh, come on. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, Hogwarts map. Oh, no, no. <laughs> there you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm. 
What exactly did you think of? isn't sure <laughs> only one way to find out i know what it is because Greg showed Meet me you inside when you're ready it's a habitat isn't that cool look at this it's amazing where are we deacon it seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts indeed i only hope we'll have enough space for all of them deke hopes so too but if you do run out of room madam peck at brood and peck in hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them any beasts the room can't hold yes she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need and she'll give you a fair price another for them. way to make speaking money speaking of care Beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Most excellent. Have you seen the wild kitty, the wild cats you can take care of? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft <laughs> to conjure an enchanted loom. 
An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deek thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Wait a minute, can I put it somewhere else? Perfect. I almost want it to be red for Gryffindor. But I'm kind of partial to the blue too. But... Loom for improvement.
came out nicely. I should show Deke. Oh yeah, so you can kind of see what I did a little bit. I didn't do too, too much. But like I, I changed that. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality, Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Oh, oh yeah, I changed the ceiling. Phantom and oh, my Dittany. Seven. <laughs> yeah, I changed the themes for them too. Oh, he's keeping it clean. <clears throat>
That's kind of cool. <laughs> a a kneesel. Those are the kitties. A whooper. Not to be confused with whooper. <laughs> Do you recall? I can't wait to rescue a hippogriff. Supposedly, not supposedly, I know it because he showed me, you can, you can get a toy box for your animals. should I do now? Those balloons didn't freaking count. Uh. I don't even know where to acquire those things. Well, I kind of want to meet Sebastian. Holy moly, okay. We got a ways to travel. Sure, how I'd fare in a little place like this. My how you're you're a Pufflepuff, Martin. I'm a Gryffindor. Although, I'm probably more half a public Gryffindor, but. First time I ever took the Pottermore quiz, and I was as honest as I could be with it, I got Gryffindor. Goblins, that's what. 
Rad rocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Kind of a good thing I brewed that one. <laughs> it looks like it's out of the way, but I promise it's not. What are you up to now? Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living here in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. She had other plans. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. What do you have for sale? What I was can I curious. help you with today? Ooh. This stuff is expensive. Well, not, it's not all expensive, but I don't know what I need, so... I'm not gonna buy anything. Glad you were able to stop by.
all around the freaking Quidditch pit. Okay, there's specific locations. No wonder. I'm for a bit of dying, are we? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to oh, know. I want to know what she was Come cursed on. with. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. <sighs> Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. Why well, did it so well? We didn't even get to talk to her. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecket. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, mm. really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure was futile, I'm afraid. 
I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so yeah. sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely mm. to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only mm. thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Well, I know it's not the Imperious Curse, and it's not Crucio, and it's not uh, Adavik. <laughs> it's not Sectusempra. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's clearly not something we've been exposed to in the movies, and I don't recall anything from the books. <sighs> mm -mm. With all due respect, sir, Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Hey. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. I feel like sister outranks niece or nephew, big time. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Mm, he's out I'll of line. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. 
He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. <clears throat> They've been digging for something. Uh, tangled up in my cords. <laughs> up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Oh, goodness, it is a dead whistle in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to use, um, crap. Um. your last mistake. Oh my god. Lag. Whoa, that was bad. I confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you.
Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? We shall. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. So I wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Revelio. Whose home was this? It's a bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. Oops. Oh, I bet I know what spell I need. Where is it? Uh, hmm. I guess I don't have a powerful enough spell. Rebellion. Aha. Always armed and ready for loyalists. <laughs> it might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself.
Rebellion. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. From the memory. Revelio. by the fire the night that Anne was cursed. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Repair! I can't repair the painting. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section, with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The Keepers, like in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Ah, now I can destroy it. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Uh. Oh! What on earth was that? Rebellion. Lumos. Plague. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Oh, yeah, she wanted to help her father. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Oh. 
Velio. Lumos. 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 Oh my god. Lumos. Lumos. I supposed to frickin' do here? You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange. Honestly. But... Nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm Lewis. tempted to hold my breath. That looks like, um, oh, what is that plant called? Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh boy. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient mm. magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. 
Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter <laughs> mess. But I'm glad you told me everything. I you did, did not expect to be so fond of a Slytherin. I'll be in touch. <laughs> but till then. I quite like Sebastian. Yes. If romance was possible, my character would totally romance him. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. <coughs> hmm. Where are we time-wise? Ooh. Time flies when you're having fun. Hmm. Where's the door? Oh, a chest. All right, I will go meet her. I do not want to go to astronomy class. But which of these is n is her? That doesn't look like I can do, let's see. I still don't know where to acquire those. How do I learn Guardian Leviosa? Ugh. Freaking A. Oh yeah, what new gear have I acquired? 
Oh, that's so pretty! I'll make it after dark. Dang it. I can't meet, uh, this must be her, yeah. Teflon, by the way. Travel broadens the mind. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. Uh -oh. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Oh, mm-hmm. I am. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse, also known as the torture curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still That's hasn't awful. forgiven himself. That's absolutely awful. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Okey I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Chacho. Whoa. 
Whoa. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, I need to go to Dogweed and Death Cap. Where the heck is, is that at? Um, hmm. the hell Uh, good night, Chacha. <laughs> Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Lumos. Such a wee bairn gear of thrash into a troll. Oh, I can't believe. Ooh, a chest. Oh, fine. I'll talk to her and sell some stuff. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. <clears throat> but you're 
things will be safe with me. Till they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. I didn't even get to see what that looked like yet. I guess I can go to appearances and take a look at it. No, I don't want to sell it yet. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. That's the long coat, huh? There's a there's a, a coat I'd love to find. I found it on one of my other characters, and it looks pretty cool. But it could be something designed for um, a male. I don't know. Well, no, because there's the poacher coat, but I don't want her wearing a poacher coat. Did I do everything I needed to do for that assignment? Oh, I have acquired, I have to use them, okay. to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Lumos. Oh, I didn't go back and get that chest. Hope you're not here for a knot grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. It's up here. Lumos. Carefully in here. <gasps> Let me <laughs> attack him.
cool. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm going to have to go looking for enemies. I suppose it's a pretty good place to stop. I'll go back to the Gryffindor common room so I can put that uh, thing in the chest. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> resource indeed your field guide I'm most pleased there we go never remember the exact placement of that darn chest. There it is. That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, sure is. Aw, oh, they're dancing. Oh, that looked like what's his face? Jackdaw. Well, just over four hours, so that is my time. God, these assignments from the professors are so annoying. Oh, I suppose astronomy class will teach me about astronomy tables. Blech. It's fun unlocking more and more things, though. Yeah, I think... I'm going to call it a night. I feel very successful. Sixteen hours on this save game. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, God of War Ragnarok will continue. Um, I'll be doing um, Alfheim. So that should be fun. And then, uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations will continue on Saturday and Uncharted on Sunday. So, yeah, that'll do it for me tonight. I will see y'all at Brian's stream tomorrow. If he, well, he's either playing Apex with Tude or that other game, Hi Fi Rush. So, yep. Um,. Yeah.
have a good one, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>